Hi guys, this is our LED walls test setup. Uh, I'm using my iPhone to shoot this video uh, just to show you quickly what we have here and to show the concept. Uh, you will notice that the that screens flicker a lot on my iPhone, but uh, when I will be showing them on the monitor, on the output monitor, the flicker will not be visible as we increase the shutter opening of the camera. We have some very basic LED panels here, which are not even genlocked but they are good enough for what we want to show here. On this screen you can see how the orange cube on top extends from the LED panel to the set extension. The colors and delays were not adjusted in this initial setup, so there is a clear difference in colors of the LED walls graphics and on the set extensions. We also have some uh, AR elements uh, in front, in foreground graphics, which are blended with the elements in the background on LED walls. So if I do this and wave my hand in front of the camera, you will see that uh, foreground elements are rendered in front of my hand. So these are today's results. You can see the colors of the walls are now adjusted and you can see how soft edge works correctly. Okay, you can see the floor tiles are much brighter panels and we didn't adjust them today, but uh, those can be adjusted uh, easily separately um, in the same way as uh, sidewalls. And also we have not yet adjusted the delays today. Okay, so here we are again with our uh, setup. In this part of a screen, we have a cube that extends into the set extension, as you can see on this final output monitor. You can see this line where the two walls connect together. Uh, and then this line disappears on a set extension. Uh, today we will show the difference between the results when we switch off and turn on the delays. So with the delays turned off, you can see a lag between the set extension and the LED panel graphics. Okay, uh, let's try again with the delays adjusted and turned on. Uh, first, let's check how pan and tilt works. As you can see now, it's uh, working seamless. Now we will check the delay again as we push the camera forwards and backwards like this. So the delay is still spot on. And as you can see, the calibration is also spot on. So everything is where it should be. I hope you liked the video. This is a work in progress and will continue to improve as the time goes. Uh, we wanted to show the level of the accuracy and uh, the precision that you can get with uh, Stipland XR workflow and Red Spy tracking system. Uh, happy to receive your comments or suggestions. Thank you. Bye bye.